you know how when the new patterns come out and you look at them there are some that make you go oh well simplicity 9955 was one of those patterns for me i absolutely love view a which is the shorts version oh I cannot wait to make these so I was sitting here looking through the pattern I don't have any fabric yet so I'm just trying to you know look ahead and see what to expect so let me share with you what's involved in this pattern this pattern is rated as average and it does call for woven fabrics this is a closer look at the line art you do need lining and that's going to be for the front pockets there aren't any pockets on the back there are pleats in the front you also have pleats in the back there is a fly front zipper there are carriers which is what your belt will go through there is a waistband and then the garment is finished with a buttonhole and a button that goes at the top of the fly front zipper. I have a doctor's appointment this morning and I know I'm going to have to get undressed so I decided to wear this jumpsuit again. It's just something easy to get in and out of, you know, so I don't have to worry about taking on and off so many clothes. When I made this jumpsuit, it was the first time I made covered buttons. So I wore this jumpsuit last weekend and I threw it in the washing machine. This morning when I took it out of the dryer, one of the covered buttons was uncovered. So this little silver piece was just sticking right here. I was like, oh, that's not cute. So I pulled the button off and I was going to recover it. But, you know, since it's right up here at the top and I'll probably never button it, I'm just going to leave it open and just, you know, keep it like this. I'm enjoying fabrics and so far I have this fabric. It's a denim that I'm thinking about using for the shorts. I also saw some camouflage that I thought would be cute. Here it is here. And then I thought about this olive color too. So I'm still trying to figure it out. I decided to go with the patchwork denim, which is actually a blend of cotton, polyester, and rayon. I was playing with my mini dress form and some scrap fabrics. This is a sheet and I draped this little I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a top or if it would be a dress. I was just playing around, but I thought it came out really cute. And I put like little pleats here and made this like a pointed hem. And then I draped just the top half of the bodice over here on this side. According to the rules, I think I was supposed to drape it on this side. But yeah, just playing around. But anyway, now let me go ahead and cut out this pattern. There are nine pattern pieces to cut out. And I am going to cut out a size eight. I don't plan to put carriers on the shorts. So for me, I just need to cut out eight pattern pieces. I didn't have to buy any lining fabric because I had this fabric left over from a previous project. So I'm going to use this for my lining for the pockets and I think I'm going to use this wrong side as the right side. I just put all the marks on the fabric and I like to use this tracing paper and it comes in sheets and the sheets are this size and you get different colors so you get like red blue and yellow and then this is like a gray color I think there's a white too I don't have the white here and then I like to cut the sheets in half so that's why these look the way that they do but yeah I really like this paper there are four lines and these are your pleat lines and they're going to make two pleats. So you're going to take these two lines, fold them together, 
and take these two lines and fold them together and then you'll stitch from the top down to a dot there from the top down to a dot there and then I put an arrow so I'll know which way to press the pleats they're going to be pressed away from this corner so after they're in then you press them down that way I pressed the pleats and then I did some basting here at the top here is how it's looking from the right side the two front pieces they have the pocket lining and these are the two back pieces and the pocket is the actual fashion fabric so next I will be putting the front to the back and stitching the side seams this is the yoke front and back and you will have two of these pieces there is a dot here and a dot here and they are going to be aligned with the dots that are at the corners here on the top of the shorts so you're going to take this piece line it up here and this is where your dots should match up stitch to there and then pivot and then stitch this around and then do the same thing when you get over to this side you'll get to the dot again you'll stitch there and then pivot and then stitch up to the end here I sewed the side edges first and then I sewed this section here and this section this band actually was a little too long so this was my 5 8 of an inch line and there was so much bulk in here so I ended up sewing in 3 8 of an inch more so that it could fit and everything was okay after I did that if you don't want to deal with the yoke section at all you can just fill in this space here with some paper and just make your pattern without the yoke cut out here and then you would have to extend your pleat lines up to the top edge so this is how the pattern looks before you add the paper behind it but you can just fill that in and then you won't have to worry about adding the additional yoke that's just a little hack here's an update on how the shorts are looking so far I just put in the zipper I used a baby blue color and now I'm going to go ahead and work on the waistband I finished the hem of the shorts by serging around the raw edges with white thread mm -hmm. are getting out of their cars and traffic is stopped on both sides of the highway so I'm not sure what's going on but I'll keep you guys posted meanwhile I'm reading a book on my iPad I'm so glad I brought my iPad with me we are just coming from church and yeah I don't know what's going on I hope and pray nobody has passed away or anything but whatever it is seems to be really serious so I know what it is. What? It is. A, it's a down power line in both directions. A down power line? Huh? Really? Yep. Okay, they're working on it. We're moving. Once I got home, I started cooking. I'm making a vegetable stew. And I made a lot, so this will last for a while. This is my second bowl. It is so, so good. Mmm. I know some people don't like to eat stew and stuff like that in the summer, but I don't mind. I can eat it all year round. Mm -hmm. 